Hello my dear friends good morning to all of you in this video lecture session i am going to start uh, unit number 2 part 2 so here uh, there are the unit number 2 part 2 the name of this part is coast and coast concept okay so let's start it first one there are the mainly two concepts are considered in this part introduction to coast what is the meaning of coast and what are the types or various concepts of coast first one there are the introduction regarding the coast coast means what in the simple meaning you can see uh, and you can say that uh, concept mean, uh, coast concept means what that uh, all over we can say that expenses which are occurring through the production process is called the coast take the example there are the electricity charges then after machinery cost then after your we can say that uh, some factories have a requirement of a water supply so this all type of uh, expenses are considered as the cost okay so here there are the introduction of this engineering cost the engineering branch is closely related to the cost because most of the engineering decisions are boils down to the various types of the projects and estimation of the project costs so various aspects of the cost are related to the engineering projects and includes its in the broad scope of the engineering economics okay because um the this cost concept is very important because whenever you have to uh, produce a new things at that time uh, cost estimation is very as yes, uh, we can say important is very we, we can say that very very important because if your cost is higher and then your profit is not be that much then you your product in the loss situation so cost is very important factor so here there are the cost concepts and the close classification cost may be defined as a resources to sacrifice or foregone to achieve a defined objective so cost of the factors of the production in economics there are in the last video lecture session you have to learn about the uh, that are the factor of production right so from the factor of production if you have to uh, requirement of the land you use the land then you have to given the rent on them then labor if you have a requirement of a labor then you have to pay the wages and salary to them if uh, you have to require the capital right so you have to pay the interest on the borrowed capital then is if your enterpriser are working and you have a require the entrepreneur then you have to provide profit to them okay what are the significance of cost in the engineering economics so the cost concept is very important in engineering economics is a general and the project management in a particular it's a facilitate the use of the scarce economic resources to productive projects from low efficiencies project to the high efficient projects in the job con contract there are decisions there are the cost estimation of the flow limit and the facilitate to competitive bidding so thus guides to for the cost control through the arresting and insufficient wastage and innovative efforts of the cost and reducing to help in the devising chapter to substitute the helping in the reducing the cost uh, if you have the idea regarding the cost then you can bid the cost and try to control the wastage uh, doing uh, doing uh, in the production process right so your cost you can control the cost and if you control the cost then your pro profit automatically higher okay then there are the various cost classification and there are this question is asked in gtu examination 2012 9 and 16 and 19 so you should prepare about it it's very important question regarding um, according to point of view your examination so on the basis of the cost behavior to production volume uh, there are the mainly two types of cost fixed cost and variable cost then on the basis of changes in the total cost in relation to the certain specific volume so this consider as a total cost average cost and the marginal cost then on the basis of cost incurrence there are the recurring cost and non recurring cost and on the some other important classifications of cost are opportunity cost sunk cost incremental cost implicit costs and explicit cost then after 
on the basis of service tenure there are the mainly two types short run cost and the long run cost okay so in the examination you have to ask the one question that write about the cost and the cost concept then you have to write this all types of cost in detail so let's learn it one by one first one fixed cost means what the name is self stated that fixed cost means a cost cannot change okay this remains same uh, from the all over the life span of the factory and company okay so let's see it fixed cost is refers to as the cost which does not register a change within uh, with an increase or decrease in the quantity of goods produced by the firm fixed costs are those costs that uh, a company should be bear to a respective for the level of the production so fixed costs are less controllable in the nature than the variable cost as they are not depend on the production factors such as the volume so the different examples of the fixed costs can be rent salaries property tax okay so that's all are considered as a fixed cost because they cannot change change according to the production if your production are increase and decrease so this cost remain same so it's called the fixed cost okay then after variable cost variable cost is refers to as the types of cost that will show the variance as per the changes in the level of production if your production level increases then your this cost will be increased and if your uh, production level decreases then variable cost is also decreasing so depending on the volume of production in a company the variable cost is increase or decrease so the various examples of variable cost are the raw material that are used for the production sales commissions labor cost this all are considering as the variable cost okay sales commission means what if your uh, sales are increasing then you have to give the higher sales commission to sales manager and if your sales is decreases then your sales commission is also decreases right and labor cost means uh, if your production level higher then you have to require the higher labor services and if your production level lower then you have to require the minimum labor and you have to give the minimum pay okay then here there are the graph regarding this fixed cost and variable cost uh, x axis is stand for the units and y axis is stand for the overall cost okay so here you see that 10000 is fixed if the production unit uh, are we can say that increase from 10 to 20 30 40 but the fixed cost is remain same and the variable cost is increasing according to the production unit are increasing take the example here that 10 then your uh, variable cost is increasing according to your production level increases then after total cost the self stated there are total cost means the uh, total of the fixed cost and variable cost total cost is a simplest term in the cost incurred and in producing something or engaging in the activities in economics the total cost is made up the variable cost plus fixed cost then after average cost average cost means what is a per unit cost okay so the average cost is a per unit cost of production is obtained by dividing the total cost by the total output by the per unit cost of the production we mean that all the fixed and the variable cost is taken into the consideration for the calculating the average cost thus the is called the per unit total cost means total cost divided by total quantity okay so you have to find the per unit cost okay uh, in the next slide you have the i have considered one example so you can easily understand this concepts then after marginal cost marginal cost is the additional cost is incurred for the production of an additional unit of the output the formula is calculated by dividing the change in the total cost by the change in production output okay see there are the one example regarding that look here in this slide you can see there are the output and the total cost here there are the units of output then the total cost and what is the meaning of average cost Uh, total cost means fixed cost plus variable cost and average cost is the total cost divided by quantity so here you see that 20 divided by 1 okay you see here 20 divided by 1 so 
then 28 divided by 2 so 40 34 divided by 3 so 11.3 38 divided by 4 so 9.5 4 42 divided by 5 8.4 48 divided by 6 8 58 divided by 7 8 72 divided by 8 so 9 then after here it, this column is the marginal course how, how we find it so here you see that how you find it so uh, is a marginal course means there are the changes occur in the total course so from the first unit there are the no changes so there are the dash here then after 20 minus 10 so 10 then 28 minus 20 so 8 then 34 minus 28 6 then 38 minus 34 4 42 minus 38 4 48 minus 42 6 56 minus 48 so 8 and 72 minus 56 so 16 okay i hope you understand this total cost average cost and marginal cost and how we find it okay then after there are the recurring cost means what recurring cost is a one type of cost that you have to be considered at the regular interval of the time okay uh, take the example uh, for the one, after one month you have to pay the uh, you have to pay electricity bill so it's a one type of recurring cost that you should pay after the particular interval okay so a recurring cost is a one that occur regular interval and the anticipated so the cost provided the electricity to the production facility is a recurring cost then after a non recurring cost is a one occur it's a irregular interval and it's not generally anticipated so the cost to replaces a company vehicle and the damage beyond the repair is an accident is a non recurring cost non recurring cost that cannot consider after the particular time of interval but there are the we can say occasionally or the we can say accidentally if any cost are considered is called the non recurring cost then after opportunity cost when economics refers to the opportunity cost means what so opportunity cost of a resources this means a value of the next highest value alternative use of the resources if for example you have to spend a time and money going to the movie right so you cannot spend the time at the home reading a uh, home reading a book and you can't spend the money to something else right so if your next best alternative is seeing the movie is a reading book then the opportunity cost is the saving uh, seeing the movie is the uh, money spent plus the pleasure for forgo the not reading the book okay so here i also give you one example regarding this that here there are the one land we can take the example there are the 10 acre land land okay so here uh, a person can build here a hospital can build here uh, we can say that uh, building regarding the education sector and doing the also doing the farming activity okay so uh, here if uh, a person is selected e option then he can uh, take the example that he can earn the 10 lakh rupees and if he uh, select the second uh, option that building the hospital then his, uh, he can earn the 15 lakh rupees and if he uh, can doing the farming then he can earn the uh, earn only 5 lakh rupees so here you obviously said that a select the uh, option number b because uh, here he can get the higher profit right so uh, for option b there are the option a and option b we can say that uh, we can say that opportunity cost of the second option okay uh, you have to forgo the next alternative for selecting the one alter uh, one option is called the opportunity cost then after incremental cost is simple is self stated that incremental means what there are increasing according to the production activities is called the incremental cost so here you see that incremental cost is the total cost that's incurred due to the additional unit of the pro product being a produce so incremental cost is calculated by the analyzing the additional expen uh, expenses is involved in the production process and such as the raw materials or for the one additional unit of the production so understanding this incremental cost can help the uh, companies and boost the production efficiencies and the profitability okay 
so this always helpful for the all, all over we can say that the company then after a sunk cost sunk cost means what sunk cost the cost can not recur uh, recoverable okay uh, the cost can incurred and after that incurring you cannot recover this cost again is called the sunk cost okay let's see it sunk cost is refers to the money that already has been spent and which cannot recover in the business there are the axioms that one has to be a spend a money to make a money is reflected in the phenomena of the sunk cost okay so there are the depreciations are considered as a sunk cost okay then after the cost which involves the outflow of the cash uh, cash due to the use of the factor of production is known as a explicit cost okay there are the example of that salary rent advertisement and wages so from the, uh, from which activity you can you have to uh, use the money is called the explicit cost then after implicit cost the cost in which there are the no cash outlay is known as the implicit cost so interest on the owner's capital salary to owner rent of the owner's building etc which do not occur in the uh, we can say really there are not occur but they are considered as the uh, uh, books of account for the as a entry purpose so this are considered as a implicit cost then after a cash cost is a cash transaction of the cash flow if a company is purchase an asset it's realize the a cost is cash cost take the example if a company has to purchase a 10 lakh rupees building then it's considered as a cash cost then after a book cost book cost is a note of cash flow but it is an the accounting entry that represent a some changes in the value so when a company is recorded a depreciation charges uh, of the 4 uh, 4 dollar million in the tax year so no money is changes in hand however the company is saying that the effect of the market value is a physical depreciable assets and the uh, decrease by the 400 millions during this year so its depreciation is a one type of we can consider as a book cost because it's considered for as as an accounting entry then after life cycle cost means what life cycle cost is refers to cost that's occur over the various of phases of the production or services life cycle from the need for the assessment through the design production and the operation to decline and the retirement so it's considered as a life cycle cost is considered for the all over the life span of the factory and the company from starting to ending of the company and what type of uh, costs are occur during this uh, introduction uh, phases to the decline phase this is all considered as a life cycle cost okay then after <coughs> according to the life tenure there are the mainly two type of cost short run cost and the long run cost short run cost is self stated there are the cost consi considered for the short period of time uh, we can say that for one year or we can say uh, that below the one year are considered as the short run cost and the long run costs are which costs there are considered for the one year more than one year and the cost which are considered for the less than one year are considered as the short run cost and cost which are considered for the more than one year is considered as the long run cost so short run cost you can consider as the bank overdraft then after salaries wages are all are considered as a short run cost then long run cost you may consider as a lease rent and then after the uh, machinery cost plant cost so these are considered for the long run cost okay so here uh, there are the completion of the type of cost i hope you understand it and if you find any query regarding this cost concept and the types of cost then you can ask me anytime you can call me you can whatsapp me and after this there are the one topic is remaining in the unit number 2 there are the break even point and after this our unit number 2 regarding the pm subject will completed okay thank you so much